Hello, what is up YouTube world? Jackson from Loveless Vintage here. I'm going to do a vintage wholesale buyout. Should be a lot of stuff. Not sure how much stuff I'm gonna grab, but I am just precautionary filming in case I get a ton of stuff. I will show you guys what I got later. So let's go do this buyout. All right, we just did the buyout with the new homie Gage. Shout out Gage, I know you're gonna watch this. Appreciate you, dude. It was like 640 bucks for a ton of stuff. I'll show you guys some of the better stuff when I get home. I'll give you a total tally of all the items, but yeah, super successful buyout. I haven't done a buyout in a long time. It was a lot of fun. I got a lot of cool stuff, so I'll show you guys soon. All right, <laughs> everybody, we are back home. It is a few days later. There is a massive pile of clothing right next to me. I actually can't believe this is uh, staying up. If it crushes me during the film of the video, just know that I love you guys. And uh, no, we're gonna be okay. <laughs> so we're gonna get into it. You guys, I bought a lot of stuff. I spent $643 with Gage. Shout out Gage, thank you so much, man. I know you're gonna be watching the video, so thanks again for uh, watching and hitting me up. You guys, basically wholesale buying. If you guys haven't seen any other videos on my channel, wholesale buying is where people wanna sell a lot of stuff to me in bulk for a way cheaper price than they would, you know, list it on Depop for. And in turn, I get to buy that stuff at a good deal, but I'm the one that has to take the time to list it, wait for it to sell stuff like that so i'm not going to be going through everything it would be an extremely long video i'm just going to show you guys some of my favorite things or the better things that i found and i might just quickly show you guys some of the other stuff but i just kind of wanted to put everything next to me so you guys could see the sheer volume i don't know how many pieces it is but after the video i will count it so i will actually leave it on the screen right now how many pieces in total i got from this buyout and again i spent 643 dollars and yeah let's just get into it i'm going to pull things off and again hope this pile doesn't kill me first off yeah i'll show you guys this one this one's really cool it just says famous tales this one is a delta tag size large this one i think was five just like a bunch of classic cars on the back size large delta tag so this is a late 90s early 2000s one most of these i'd sell for 20 to 30 bucks on my depop if you guys are interested in anything hit me up on instagram message me on instagram that's the best way to get in contact with me if you see anything that you do like during this entire video just message me on instagram if not it will be going on my depop i'll leave a screenshot of my depop right here so you you guys can go follow me on depop i upload eight items a day so i do have a lot of items weekly hitting my depop page i know that this is gonna fall on me and it's gonna make a great clip so yeah just be ready for that size xl this one's really cool this is like a deer head animal nature crew neck i love animal nature stuff it's doing so well for me on my depop this hanes tag is like 80s 90s and this i'd sell on my depop for probably like 30 to 35 dollars i'll just show this one really quick this is a screen printed tag harley there was a decent amount of harley stuff in here and i bought Bought it all even if it's screen printed tag harley stuff will sell and it will sell pretty well for me on depop again even though it's a screen printed tag meaning it is a newer piece i'll still probably list this on my depop for like 20 to 25 dollars size 2xl blue bar anvil we do have the running horses shirt the reason i'm going to mention this is because on depop today i did get featured for a horse shirt it's a front and back horse print shirt and i have been selling a lot of horse shirts you guys i feel like horse shirts are definitely a wave i feel like this one really clean graphic i think i paid like five dollars for this i'd probably sell this for 25 to 30 on my depop it's really clean just the front print but yeah shout out my horse girls we have another nature tee this one's an eagle one single stitch and it does have the like dual sleeve dual collar these ones always sell on my depop for at least like 25 to 30 we got the size xl golf is life you got the dad tee right here i think i paid like five dollars for this sell it for like 20 25 cool gray tag nike shirt this one does have some stains i think i paid him like eight dollars for this 
this one. It's single stitch, nice little like clean logo. Probably sell this one for 30-ish. You got a Carhartt vest. These Carhartt like fur-ish lined vests always sell pretty well. I think the last one I had was like pretty distressed just like this one. Has some stains and everything and marks, but people like that. I think the last one I sold, I sold for like 40 to 50-ish and I think I paid 10 for that one. We have a All-American Disney. We got a Mickey 2003. I think there were two other Disney shirts that I bought with this one and it was 20 bucks for all of them. So if I come across them, I will show you guys. Again, this one I'll probably throw on my Depop for like 20 or so. It's pretty plain, pretty simple graphic. This was one that I kind of just liked that I did want to show off. It's a Carhartt size large. It's not like a jacket, but it is like a thick button up with like the plaid flannel inside. I just thought it was a really nice like quality jacket. I think I ended up paying like $8 or so for this one. If I saw this in a thrift for eight bucks, I probably wouldn't pick it up. But I don't know. I just really like the color. I thought it was clean. I might end up like rocking it or something. But if I was going to sell this on Depop, probably like try to get at least 30 bucks for it since I did pay a little bit more. This is one of the other Mickey tees that I bought in that bundle for 20. This one is size XL. It's pretty cool. It's just like color block, single stitch. It just has the small little like Disney hit right there. Nothing crazy or anything, but it is a single stitch vintage one. So I picked that one up in the bundle with two other ones for 20 bucks. This one, I think I paid him 15 bucks and he was actually kind of shocked. He used NASCAR tees really well for me on Depop. XL chase tag. This is a Dale Sr. It says the man NASCAR. It's actually licensed to nutmeg, but it is on a case authentics tag. Again, size XL. I paid him 15 bucks for that and he was like more than happy to take that. I think this one on my Depop, I'll probably put up for like 35, 40. This one is double stitch, pretty good condition. We have a random like Tijuana custom shirt. The reason I want to show this one is because flame sleeves, no matter what it is if it's flame sleeves i'm telling you guys you should pick it up even if i throw this on depop for like 20 or 25 bucks i'm sure someone will buy it even though it's just like a random motorcycle custom like long sleeve graphic print t-shirt holy crap that was a mouthful but the flame sleeves, uh, kids on Depop love them. So always pick up stuff that has flame sleeves if you can get it cheap enough. This one was actually in like kind of a side bin off to the side that he was asking way less on. And basically everything in that bin I was paying like $3 for, but this one is a single stitch humanities shirt. I've sold this shirt before. It's a pretty great shirt. Just has like the world and nature and a lot of good colors. It does have some stains on it, but I think I ended up paying him like five-ish dollars for it. Yeah, these humanities like nature shirts be on the lookout for these. This one is an XL. So part of the stack has fallen on me. I'm just going to keep going. We have this cool little Suzuki like drill shirt. I just thought this was funny. I got a laugh out of this one. I think I spent like $3 on this one. It's size XL. It's a mullet hit, just the big back hit, but it's definitely like a dad shirt. We got a nice like newer Corvette shirt. I think I paid like $3 for that one. We have a tank top, which I normally don't like picking these up, but this one is a big Johnson tank top. Big Johnson always does like induendo is shirts. So there's always like sexual induendos in their shirts. And yeah, tank tops do do not sell well for me, but I picked it up. I think I spent like $3 on that one. This one I thought was really cool too, size large. I think I spent like $3 on this one. It's probably just like a rodeo shirt. Some dude that used to dance with the bulls or whatever. I just really, really like the colors. It has like pink and blue. And my favorite thing about the shirt is that it has emergency 911 on the sleeve. So when you get ran over by a bull, you get flung in the air by a bull, you know who to call. You call emergency 911. We got the Happy Fisherman. I can't really show this one on YouTube. I'll uh, censor it for you guys if you guys can see that, but uh, he's very happy. There's a fish helping him out. If you guys know, you know. I think I bought this one for like three bucks. This is the other Disney shirt I got in that lot for three Disney shirts for 20 bucks. It's like a through the years, like wraparound print. This one's like a mid 2000s one. I think it's size XL. I wish this one was bigger. I would keep it, but we have these size small. I think this is 2005 Smith's Meat is Murder. This is one of my favorite albums of all time by one of my favorite bands of all time. Actually, The Smiths is my favorite band of all time. So I love The Smiths. I have multiple The Smiths tattoos. Anyways, uh, if this wasn't a size small, I would keep it. I think I paid like 15-ish for this. And I think I could at least double up, probably get like 30 to 40. People are actually asking like 70 to 100 on these like 2005 designs now, which is kind of crazy because back in like 2014, I was buying them on eBay for like 15 or 20 bucks, but that is inflation for you guys. We have two tool shirts. I'm not sure if the other one's going to be right here, but I bought two of them. I think I bought them both for like 40, which is an okay deal. I feel like I could sell one of them for 40, but this one is a Tennessee River tag size medium front and back print tool band tee. Just another random dad tee. We got the Mr. Fix-It. 
it. I'll throw this on my Depop for like 20, 25 bucks. I love this one, XL Wraparound Print Alaska. This one is single stitched. I think I paid him eight to 10 for this one. These ones do better for me. I can sell these for like 30 bucks on my Depop, so I paid a little bit more. But yeah, single stitch, really good condition. Amazing graphic. Love these tees so much. I love selling those shirts. We have a white tag made in USA Nike Double XL Ringer. Ringer tees do not sell the best, but I did really like the colors. It's green and navy blue, like really deep navy blue. With the little embroidered hit right there. I'll probably put this on my Depop for like 25 bucks. I think I paid like seven-ish for that one. I got two bowling shirts. I don't know where the other one is, but I think it was five bucks each or maybe eight for both just because I never sold a bowling shirt, but they have embroidered flames on them. I think the other one has like Joker faces on them. I just felt like some like Depop kid would really like this. So I did pick them up. They are vintage made in USA too. So I picked up some bowling shirts. We got a few more destination tees, all sport blank single stitch. We just got the Seattle tee and then we have another Seattle tee. I think I paid five bucks a piece on those. This was one of the better pieces that I did buy. Something flew off and hit my foot. This is a size large Delta apparel though. This is not the older tag. I know there's a screen printed tag. There's an older tag, like single stitch version of this one. This one is not older. It's a Delta size large. I'd say this one is probably later 2000s, but it is the Ben and Jerry's Euphoria shirt, the all over print shirt. When the Chunky Dogs came out, these were selling for a decent amount of money, but I think these literally go for like 50 to 100 now. I think I paid him like 25 to 30 for this one. I'll put it on my Depop for like 50 to 60 and see if anyone bites but yeah the price in those i feel like really dipped you have some more carhartt we have some double knees i think i paid 10 to 15 a piece on them they are bigger sizes and this one has some crotch wear so yeah but these will normally sell for at least i at least try to get like 50 dollars for double knees but they are a slower seller so many people sell them on depop now that they do sell pretty slow we got a few more pairs i got a black pair really nice distressing on this pair and then i think we got a gray pair we got a planet hollywood walt disney world shirt that's pretty cool i haven't seen like a walt disney planet hollywood shirt but that one is cool i really like this shirt it just says as peace child with like all of the doves in different colors this one's a screen star size medium single stitch one i just really like the graphic and colors thought i'd show you guys i think i paid for like five bucks harley davidson cafe with the cool like orange sleeve details i think i paid eight seven or eight bucks for this one a little bit more because it's like a long sleeve and has really cool like, color blocking this one it has no size tag but it's probably like a large we got the foil boop the betty boop foil shirt size large Toltex tag. This one is actually super crispy. There's the graphic. We have a Rolling Stones. I think this one is, yeah, 2009 size large. Just paid five bucks for that one. It's a good Depop filler band tee. Another silver tag Nike, just do it spell out. I think I paid like five bucks for that one. Harley T, another big Johnson T. If you guys are interested in any of these shirts, I'm just kind of showing off really quick. Just message me on Instagram. Here's the other tool shirt that we have. I think this one's a medium also. Yeah, another medium front and back. Like I said, I think I paid 40 for both. So 20 each. I've sold tool shirts before for like 40 to 50. So I felt like that was a pretty good deal. Like kind of buy one, get one free. We got a Margaritaville, like on a universal tag, vintage tee. We have a Corona tee. I think this one was like $3 XL Corona tee. Corona tees actually sell pretty well in Depop. Kids like wearing them as jokes, I feel like. We have an Alaska tee. This one I paid $5 for. We have a Harley shirt. I was paying basically like five bucks for any Harley shirt. This one is a newer one, but yeah, five bucks is fine with me. I'll sell it for 2025. We have a Blue Water Surfboard this is a crazy shirt this one's single stitch front and back print uh, i think i paid like three maybe five dollars for this one but yeah crazy shirt single stitch we got a newer heart shirt i just really like the colors and graphic of that one this was one of the better tees too i think i paid 25 five for this one mno knits size xl the property of alcatraz I actually need to get back to someone on instagram they really wanted this they want to know if it was an xl and it is an XL and here it is. But yeah, the Alcatraz all over print. I saw these selling anywhere from like the high end, like 70 plus around like 40, 50. One of them did sell recently for like 25 or 30, but I think I paid like 25. I'm pretty comfortable with that. I'll throw it on Depop pretty high unless someone just wants to buy it for me straight up. Give them a little bit of a better deal. We have another like classic car shirt right there. We have a sweater. I'm not really trying to buy a lot of sweaters, but I think I did buy around like 12 or so just because of the time of the year. It's actually 
actually June 1st, the day I'm recording this, so it is getting into summertime. This one is a bootleg Hard Rock New York. The way you can tell it's bootleg is it doesn't have the official Hard Rock tag. It is just a Fruit of the Loom cut tag, size large, but still really like the colors and everything. I think I laid out like 10 crewnecks or so on the ground and I just made an offer for all of them. And I think it was like 70 bucks and he took it. So I think that was in that deal. We have a grumpy shirt. I think I bought two of these. They were like five bucks each on the Walt Disney tag. This one has a really nice fade on it. The stack is actually uh, not gonna fall over on me, you guys. If you guys were praying for my downfall, you guys were praying for the stack to follow me, it's not gonna happen. Size XL, this is a 90s long sleeve Tweety. I think I paid eight to 10? I don't think I paid 10. I probably paid eight bucks for this. Throw it on my Depop for like 30. Harley tank, not really trying to buy tanks or anything. I think it was like three bucks, maybe five, maybe five for that one. New with tags, Planet Hollywood. I think I paid five bucks. This will sell my Depop for like, two. I think the last new with tags, Planet Hollywood shirt I sold for like 25 to 27 bucks. Another Harley Davidson cutoff. I actually think I was paying five for those. Any like Harley thing I was paying five for, even if they're cut off. Another grumpy shirt, five bucks, paid on that one. This is another one of the cool things in the bundle. Well, they're all cool things. They're all cool things. You guys need to buy them from me. They're all really cool. But one of my favorite things, the Chanel Boutique. We have the bootleg Chanel. I wish this was bigger. I might still keep it and try to rock it. Not sure if you guys can see that, but it is tonal embroidery right there. And yeah, I really love vintage designer bootlegs and I really love the color. So I might end up keeping this. I forget what I paid him. I think I paid him 15 or 20 bucks. I don't know what the market is on these. I know sometimes you can sell them for like a hundred ish, but I really Really don't know and it's hard to sell these because I can't put them on Depop I have to put them on my Instagram story and I don't know what the going rate is so I think I pay, I think I paid them like 20 bucks I might just keep it though we have a Washington shirt I really really like this one this one is a 90s one but it looks like way older than that the logo looks kind of like early 80s or something the stack is getting smaller we have a zoo run shirt oh I really like this one this one is a seaside organ size large this artist who is this artist I don't know drop it in the comments my mom Mom actually will tell me if she watches this video, which she will. Mom, who is this artist? <laughs> My mom used to have this artist's art in our house. We had a few different ones. I think we had like a Pike Place one or something like that, but yeah, their art is very specific and they just make like destination shirts. I feel like mainly for the Northwest. This one is single stitched. Really like this one, very nostalgic for me. I paid $5 for this one, probably sell it for like 25, 30. We have a tie dye nature bear tee, another crew neck that we bought in that lot size XL. This one is a motorcycle one, like a dirt bike one I think the graphic is just really cool big front and back print really love the colors so that was in a crew neck lot that I bought we have another wraparound print this one is Fairbanks Alaska on the Gildan tag this one is single stitch I think I paid eight or so dollars for this one with the plane on it really love the graphics and colors put that on my depop for like 30 plus we have just a flower tee I actually think it says Coog mom or yeah Washington mom so very specific tee it's really soft though single stitch Throw that on my Depop for like 20. This, believe it or not, is probably my favorite thing I bought. And I'm just going to keep it. Size of XL, bum equipment, bum. I love this shirt so much, dude. The bum spell out. It doesn't say bum equipment, which I really like. It literally just in big bold letters says bum. I cannot wait to wear this to be called a bum. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna just put it on right after this video, but this is probably my favorite thing that I bought. I love this shirt so much. I'm actually gonna put it right over here. We have the A&W Racing Tee. This one is from 2002, front and back graphic. I think this one was only $3. I really like the A&W hit, that's why I bought it. I used to love going to A&W with my dad on the weekend, getting a root beer float. We have another Harley, this one is a newer age one. Big front hit and big colorful back hit, paid $5 for that one. What fell over here? Oh, this one's a really cool, single stitch really nice like faded gray this one's a puerto rico like frog tee i just really love the fade and wear on this one really love the color of it paid five dollars here's the other bowling shirt it has flaming eyeballs this reminds me of like the ernie ball logo or something from like i think it's never soft whatever the brand was that made the tony hawk games that's what it reminded me of but yeah i think this was like 
five ish dollars for this one made in usa vintage one i'll throw it up for like probably 25 30 bucks this one was cool i forget what i paid for this one i paid a little bit more it's a halo 3 screen printed tag but this is actually from 2007 it has the date stamp on it screen printed tags went as early as i think 2004 maybe earlier but this one is a size large it looks more like a medium not the best size but i did pay a little bit more for this one i forget how much it was halo 3 tees are all over the place i know some of them go for like 30 to 40 to 50 and some can go for like 100 i forget how much this one goes for and i forget what i paid for it but pretty good tee we just have like a trout shirt vintage trout shirt paid like five dollars for that one this one is pretty cool it is pretty like faded and worn out but we have the adidas i think this is a size medium but it's like the trefoil logo with the front and back print and like the striping and then we have like the blue details this was in that crew neck lot another crew neck that was in that crew neck lot we have the intelligent beautiful magnificent like humpback whales crew neck front and back print that was in the crew neck lot another thing in the crew neck lot i think yeah a few of these are mainly crew necks we have the size medium betty boot be naughty like christmas themed sweatshirt i had this exact sweatshirt before and i think i sold it for like 35 dollars on depop we have a hot air balloon really cool graphic Graphic, Albuquerque. It actually has glitter print too. We're winding down on the sack, you guys. We have a piglet shirt. I think I paid like five dollars for that one. You have a Zelda shirt. I think I paid like seven or eight. This shirt is not worth that much though. I think it's only worth like 25 to 30 dollars. We have a mountain size medium. I love these mountain nature shirts. This one actually has a tag, so it's a little bit of an older one. It's a dragon. I'll put this on my depop for like 25 to 30. We have a like ribbed thermal Harley long sleeve. I think I paid five for this. Jesus T right here. It says FBI, firm believer in Jesus. This one's like a 2000s one size large. Jesus T's do pretty well in Depop. I've kind of been talking about that for a little bit. We have like two wolf shirts. I paid $5 a piece for these. This one is single stitch size XL. This one is XL. This one is double stitch. I really love the like sage green on that one. I said I wouldn't show every piece and I've showed like almost every single piece. Uh, we have the New York front and back print. This one is a a size XL on the Fruit of the Loom tag. Pike's Place Market shirt, front and back hit. I've had this exact same design on a sweatshirt. It was a hoodie. I sold it for, I think, 30 bucks. So probably list the shirt for like 20 to 25. We have a Onita tag. This one is single stitched. It's like some wolves. And I think you got a fox right there. Paid $5 for that one. We have a golf shirt. I think I paid eight to 10 which I don't even know if that was a good buy. I haven't sold a golf shirt in a minute, but I think they do hold some value. I'd imagine this is at least like a $30 shirt. Love the colors on this one. Charlotte, look at those colors, the pink and purple and blue. This one is single stitch. I paid $5 for that one. We have a cool like Bulls bootleg, Chicago. I just loved it because it's on a purple blank, size large, Fruit of the Loom, single stitch. But yeah, this one's definitely a bootleg. I think I paid $10 for that. St. John's University, made in USA size large Jansport tag. This one is single stitch. I paid $5 for that one. We have the Tweety V-neck. I think I paid five. V-necks are kind of a harder sell. So I think I paid $5 for this one. It's fully embroidered. Wow, this is the last item. We did it, you guys. So the last item is this Playboy. This is a pretty cool one. It ended on size medium, like Playboy tag. I feel like this is 80s. I have never found like an official Playboy thing. It just has the little Playboy embroidered logo right there on this like mint green sweatshirt like short sleeve sweatshirt. Really cool item. I don't know much about this. I don't remember what I bought it for. I want to say at least like 10 to 15, but yeah, that's going to be the last item of this wholesale buyout. I haven't done a wholesale buyout in a minute. If you guys did enjoy the video, drop a like on the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. I am always doing thrift depop content and I try to do buyouts whenever I can. So if you guys like this type of video, please let me know because there should potentially be some more buyout videos coming. I do really enjoy doing buyouts and making videos like this. So again, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and Depop, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.